Well, this morning I am paddling the Gallup Canal on the St. Lawrence River and it's a wee bit foggy. Uh, I wasn't expecting this fog. Uh, it was sunny when I left the house. At any rate, kind of cool. This is an old shipping canal. It runs uh, parallel to, uh, to the St. Lawrence Seaway. So the uh, Gallup Canal has been out of use as a commercial shipping canal uh, for about 70 years or so. Um, but it is still used for recreational boating. There's marinas and it's um, a popular spot for, for fishing and angling. And it's just an interesting spot to explore. But at one time, this would have been how ships would have navigated up the St. Lawrence River around the Iroquois Rapids. I guess it's about a, oh, a two or three mile uh, paddle from where I launched uh, down the Gallup Canal uh, to the St. Lawrence River. There's really interesting currents in here. Right here there is a counter current so I'm getting a push upstream because uh, the currents from the St. Lawrence are just swirling in the channels and this channel gives me an upstream trip. Well that up ahead is the St. Lawrence River. <clears throat> but having said that, and, if you uh, do have cell yeah. signal, this the app St. is Lawrence free River, there is and it's a great way to get an overview shipping of shipping traffic that uh, may be ships, in your area. You know, six, seven hundred feet. And I don't think that's a good place to be in this fog in a kayak because Another kind of counterintuitive uh, current here. Uh, basically, right here, I'm going straight up against what to show you, something you might nifty think here. would be I've the got my, uh, of the St. Lawrence River. Uh, but uh, uh, there's actually very little current here at going all. on my cell phone. Uh, it's a bit of a misnomer because it's not radar at all. It's actually an AIS repeater. At any rate, uh, I am, well, right about here, or sorry, right about here. And there's a ship coming, the Algoma Harvester. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to get to see that shortly here. And I'm going to stay way out of his way. Because he's big. He's like 700 feet or something. So the cell phone app that I'm using to keep track of this ship is called uh, Marine Traffic. Uh, it uses cell phone data uh, to keep an eye on the uh, ship's location. Uh, what it is is the ships are equipped with uh, VHF AIS transmitters that uh, will uh, transmit to base stations in areas like this. And uh, basically what the cell phone is, is it's uh, a repeater of that information uh, sent over the cellular network. So it's not true AIS. Uh, it is a way uh, to keep an eye on ships if you're within cell service and you want a general overview of the traffic in the area. It's, uh, it's a free app. It 
It would be great if there was some kind of a handheld battery operated AIS for kayaks, but I'm not aware of anything like that. Another kind of counterintuitive uh, current here, uh, basically right here I'm going straight up against what you might think would be the strength of the St. Lawrence River, but uh, there's actually very little current here at all. Okay, so I started off in the Gallup Canal, and then I went out into the <coughs> St. Lawrence River, uh, the St. Lawrence Seaway, actually. And now I've ducked back into the old Gallup Canal, which is where um, house ships uh, got up the St. Lawrence River prior to the St. Lawrence Seaway being built. And what we're coming up on here is you can see the old canal wall has collapsed on the left. So uh, lucky for us, we're in a kayak and we can get through and see where this leads. Okay, it's too shallow. Too shallow for a kayak. That's shallow. So this is interesting. I'm actually paddling up against a, a, a really a pretty strong current right now. Um, it's, uh, it's turned into a really beautiful day. Um, the, the water is just crystal clear. I can see the bottom perfectly uh, but yeah yeah the currents uh, pretty strong which is nice gives me an excuse to paddle this is neat along here because basically uh, the old canal is flooded so you can look down from your boat and see the edge of the old canal and the steep drop off where the old canal was underneath you uh, in only about a foot or so of water. All right, well, that's just been a really fantastic paddle. Just really cool fog and then now a beautiful sunny day. I still have my dry suit on. It's not, it's not hot, that's for sure. Uh, but it's a beautiful sunny day and just neat seeing the ships and Lots of interesting currents in around here. Uh, the navigation is interesting. It happens that I do know my way around a bit because I've been here on my sailboat. But if you haven't been here, I think you would be wise to bring a chart because uh, there's a lot of twists and turns and channels and islands and it's all pretty cool. All right, thanks, that's all. That's uh, kayaking the Gallup Canal in Eastern Ontario.